AI-powered profits, master algorithmic trading for maximum returns. Part I, Foundations of AI and Algorithmic Trading. Chapter 1, The AI Revolution in Finance. The world of finance is in a state of flux, a silent revolution unfolding where numbers and intuition once reigned supreme. This revolution isn't televised, its battles fought not on boardroom floors, but in lines of code and the humming pulse of server farms. Artificial intelligence, long the stuff of science fiction, has breached the ivory towers of investment banks and whispered promises in the ears of hedge fund managers. The old guard, those who cut their teeth on gut feelings and weathered charts, watch with a mixture of fascination and trepidation. Finance, at its heart, is a quest for predictive power. Whether it's divining the rise and fall of stock prices, the solvency of a fledgling company, or the shifting tides of entire economies, the ability to foresee the future separates winners from losers. Traditionally, humans have shouldered this burden, armed with spreadsheets, complex models, and an often subjective reading of market sentiment. AI upends this paradigm. Machine learning, the beating heart of this revolution, imbues computers with a capacity to learn unmatched by human minds. Fed vast troves of historical data and equipped with sophisticated algorithms, these systems don't merely follow our instructions, they identify patterns invisible to us, correlations buried beneath mountains of numbers. It's pattern recognition on an unprecedented scale, a shift from rigid rules to adaptable intelligence. But machine learning's power extends beyond raw number crunching. Natural Language Processing NLP, unlocks the unstructured world of human communication. News articles, social media chatter, even the carefully worded legalese of annual reports, AI algorithms can parse them all, extracting insights no human could glean in a lifetime of reading. Sentiment, hidden biases, the subtle shifts in language that signal impending failure or unexpected opportunity, are now laid bare for machines to analyze. This revolution isn't merely theoretical. AI-powered hedge funds already stalk the markets, their decisions driven by algorithms honed on decades of financial data. Names like Renaissance Technologies and Two Sigma are whispered with a mixture of respect and fear. Their track records speak for themselves, generating returns that outstrip traditional funds, defying market downturns with uncanny resilience. Chapter 2, Building Blocks of Algorithmic Trading Algorithmic trading isn't just about machines making trades, it's about replacing human judgment with a codified system of rules. Picture it like a meticulous recipe for navigating the market, the ingredients are data and market signals, the cooking instructions are your trading strategy, and the result is a series of buy and sell orders executed without emotional hiccups. At the very core of algorithmic trading lies the strategy. This is more than a vague hunch about market direction, it's a precise playbook, often grounded in statistical analysis or technical patterns. Let's break down some of the most common strategies. Trend following, the adage the trend is your friend takes on a whole new meaning in algorithmic trading. These strategies attempt to ride market momentum, entering trades when an asset shows sustained upward or downward movement. Technical indicators, moving averages, and complex mathematical models are the tools of the trend follower, all aimed at identifying the prevailing direction and extracting profit while the trend remains intact. Mean reversion, if trend following is about jumping on a bandwagon, mean reversion is the contrarian play. It rests on the idea that asset prices, like stretched rubber bands, tend to snap back towards their historical average. Mean reversion strategies bet on outliers, seeking to profit when an asset becomes unusually overbought or oversold, anticipating a return to normalcy. Arbitrage, arbitrage traders are the scavengers of the market, their eyes fixed on discrepancies. They exploit tiny price differences between the same asset trading on different exchanges or in different forms, think stocks and their associated derivatives. Lightning fast execution and sophisticated algorithms are vital, as these fleeting profit opportunities evaporate in seconds. Sentiment analysis, traditionally, market sentiment was the realm of news headlines and water cooler chatter. 
Algorithmic trading infuses sentiment analysis with cold logic. Natural language processing scours news articles, social media feeds, and even regulatory filings, distilling it into quantifiable measures. Sentiment indicators can trigger trades on their own, or be layered into other strategies as a confirmation tool. But why turn trading over to the machines? The benefits of algorithmic trading are compelling. Discipline reigns supreme, algorithms execute your strategy faithfully, unburdened by the fear and greed that plague human traders. Moreover, speed is amplified. Computers react to market data and execute orders at a pace no human can match, a critical edge in today's hyper-connected markets. However, relinquishing control to algorithms requires a leap of faith. Blindly following a system, even a well-designed one, can be unnerving. Algorithmic models can fall victim to black swan events, the unexpected and unprecedented shocks that ripple through markets. Additionally, relying on historical data carries an inherent risk, the assumption that past patterns will repeat dependably in the future. Chapter 3, Essential Data for AI Trading Systems An AI trading system is only as intelligent as the data it consumes. Imagine a chef working with stale ingredients and inaccurate measurements, the end result is bound to be unpalatable. In the realm of trading, your data is the foundation, and its quality dictates the potential of any strategy you build on top. Let's dissect the different flavors of market data that feed into AI models. Fundamental data, this is the bedrock of traditional investing. It encompasses company financials, economic indicators, and industry-specific reports. Think balance sheets, income statements, GDP growth figures, unemployment rates, the tangible factors that underpin a company's value or the health of an economy. AI algorithms pour over this data, searching for undervalued companies, hidden growth potential, and macroeconomic trends that impact various sectors. Technical data where fundamental data focuses on why an asset might move, technical data is all about when. It encompasses historical price charts, trading volumes, and a vast array of technical indicators. Technical analysts have their own language of chart patterns, support, and resistance levels, and momentum indicators. AI systems absorb this data, identifying patterns that hint at potential future price movements. Sentiment data markets aren't driven purely by rational calculations. The collective mood, fear, optimism, complacency, leaves its fingerprints on prices. Sentiment data captures this elusive element. News articles, social media chatter, even the language used in company earnings calls are mined for sentiment. AI algorithms distill these into sentiment scores, which can flag brewing optimism around an asset or warn of a looming storm of negative sentiment. Alternative data, this is the wild frontier of data-driven trading. It encompasses everything that doesn't fit neatly into traditional categories, satellite imagery to count cars in retail parking lots, predicting sales, geolocation data to track foot traffic, even analyzing the tone of CEO interviews to gauge underlying confidence. AI excels at finding patterns in these unconventional data sets, potentially granting an edge to those with access. But raw data is rarely pristine. The real world is messy, missing values, erroneous entries, delayed updates, and mismatching formats are the norm. Data cleaning and pre-processing are the unglamorous but essential steps that transform raw data into something usable by your AI models. Handling missing values is an art in itself. Do you remove the entire data point? Impute, fill in, the missing value based on surrounding data? The choice depends on the nature of the data and the type of analysis you're performing. Outliers, those data points far outside the expected range, can wreak havoc on your models. Careful analysis is needed to determine whether these are true abnormalities or errors that need correction. Data sources are just as important as the data itself. Financial data providers like Bloomberg and Refinitiv offer vast repositories of structured data, ready for consumption by your algorithms. For alternative data sets, web scraping, 
the automated extraction of data from websites, is often the key. Social media platforms also offer APIs to access their data streams, though often with limitations and usage fees. Chapter 4, Financial Mathematics for AI Traders Trading, even with the aid of powerful AI, isn't about blind fortune-telling. It's a realm governed by numbers and probabilities. Understanding the key financial metrics and mastering the tools of risk management is what separates long-term success from the wreckage of blown-out accounts. Let's start by dissecting some of the essential performance metrics used to evaluate trading systems. Sharp Ratio, at its core, the Sharp Ratio seeks to answer, are you being compensated adequately for the risk you're taking? It measures your excess returns, compared to a risk-free asset, like treasury bills, per unit of volatility. A higher ratio means a better risk-adjusted return, a signal that you're not simply gambling for high returns. Sortino Ratio, this close cousin of the sharp ratio focuses on downside risk. It replaces overall volatility with downside deviation, a measure of how much your returns dip below your target. This is especially important for traders who are extremely averse to significant losses, a high Sortino ratio signals a strategy that generates returns with less severe drawdowns. Maximum drawdown, this metric is a stark reminder that even winning strategies experience losing streaks. The maximum drawdown is the largest peak to trough decline of your portfolio's value over a given time period. It puts a tangible number on your worst case scenario, a vital ingredient for realistic risk management. Metrics help you judge strategies, but they won't protect you on a bad day. Let's outline some core risk management concepts. Value at risk, Varvar attempts to answer the anxious trader's question, how much can I potentially lose over a given time period with a certain level of confidence? For example, a daily bar of $1,000 with a 95% confidence level means that 95% of the time, your daily losses won't exceed $1,000. Stop loss orders, this is a trader's insurance policy. A stop loss order automatically exits a trade when the price drops below a preset level, limiting your loss on any individual position. There's both an art and science to placing stop losses, too tight, and you'll be whipsawed out of trades by normal volatility, too loose, and you risk catastrophic losses. Diversification, the old adage don't put all your eggs in one basket applies intensely to trading. Diversification, spreading your capital across various assets with low correlation, reduces the risk that a single event will wipe out your portfolio. AI trading systems can be designed to optimize diversification, seeking opportunities in a wide range of assets and sectors. Beyond pure numbers lie technical indicators, the bread and butter of many AI trading strategies. Let's briefly examine a few stalwarts. RSI, Relative Strength Index This momentum oscillator measures the magnitude of recent price gains and losses, signaling potential overbought or oversold conditions. RSI readings above 70 often imply an asset might be due for a pullback, while readings below 30 suggest a potential bounce is brewing. MACD, Moving Average Convergence Divergence MACD tracks the relationship between two moving averages of different lengths. Crossovers of the MACD lines and divergences from the price action can generate buy and sell signals. Bollinger Bands these visually striking bands plot moving averages plus and minus a standard deviation of price. Prices hugging the upper band may indicate an overbought asset, while those testing the lower band may signal oversold conditions. Additionally, periods of low volatility, represented by narrowing bands, often precede sharp price moves. Part 2, Developing AI Trading Strategies Chapter 5 machine learning for market prediction. Imagine a crystal ball showing glimpses of future price movements, not through mysticism, but through the potent magic of machine learning, ML. At its foundation, ML trading is about uncovering the hidden relationships between vast troves of data and the asset prices you wish to predict. Supervised learning is the workhorse of ML in finance. With supervised learning, you feed your algorithm both historical data, 
our features, and the corresponding past price movements, our labels, what the algorithm is trying to learn to predict. There are two main flavors, each suited for different goals. Regression, when your goal is predicting a continuous value, like the exact price of a stock tomorrow, regression models step up. Linear regression, the simplest of the breed, attempts to draw the best fit line through your data. More complex regression algorithms exist, with the ability to model nonlinear patterns. The output of a regression model is a numerical prediction, allowing you to compare the expected price change with the current market conditions to inform your trading decisions. Classification, sometimes, you don't care about the exact price, but simply the direction, up or down. Classification models answer this question. They seek to draw neat decision boundaries within your data, separating data points likely to result in an upward price move from those foreshadowing a decline. Classification predictions are often expressed in terms of probability, giving a sense of the model's level of confidence in its prediction. But what algorithm should you choose for your trading endeavors? Here's a glimpse into some ML heavyweights. Linear regression, while simple, let's not underestimate linear regression. It's transparent, making it easy to understand how your features impact the prediction, a desirable quality in the highly regulated world of finance. However, real-world market relationships are rarely perfectly linear, limiting its predictive power for complex problems. Decision trees, think of these like a series of yes-slash-no questions, splitting your data at each branch based on the value of a particular feature. Their output is visually intuitive, resembling a flowchart. Yet, decision trees are prone to overfitting, essentially memorizing the nuances of your training data, which can lead to poor performance on unseen market scenarios. Neural networks, inspired by the intricate wiring of the human brain, neural networks are the rock stars of complex pattern recognition. They excel at uncovering hidden, nonlinear relationships within massive data sets. However, the inner workings of a neural network are often a black box, making it harder to explain exactly why the model arrives at a specific prediction. Selecting the right algorithm is just part of the battle. Feature engineering, the art of choosing and transforming the data that fuels your ML models, is where true mastery lies. Raw data rarely comes in the optimal format for our algorithms. Feature selection means identifying the variables that have the strongest predictive relationship with your target price. Creating new features can be even more powerful, combining raw data in novel ways to tease out hidden signals. Consider technical indicators. Bollinger bands don't just generate potential trading signals, the raw values that go into their calculation also make potent features for an ML model. Or imagine training a model to predict sentiment based on the last 24 hours worth of news headlines, this requires transforming unstructured text into numerical features the algorithm understands. Techniques like back of words or sentiment polarity scores open up a whole world of textual data for integration into your trading systems. Chapter 6, Natural Language Processing for Sentiment Trading Human emotion has always driven markets, but quantifying that emotion has traditionally been elusive. News headlines hinted at the broader mood, but sentiment lived in nuanced analysis and gut feelings. NLP is a game changer, providing the tools to systematically measure sentiment at a massive scale, opening new frontiers for AI traders. The sources of textual data for sentiment analysis are vast. News articles, meticulously crafted company reports, and the raw, unfiltered chatter of social media all contain valuable clues to shifting market perceptions. Let's outline some key techniques to extract sentiment from this raw data. Lexicon-based approaches, these rely on dictionaries of pre-categorized words and phrases. Positive words like surge, bullish, or outperform carry positive scores, while negative words like plunge, slump, or disappoint carry negative scores. The overall sentiment of a text is calculated by aggregating these word scores. Machine learning for sentiment, ML algorithms offer greater flexibility. Trained on vast datasets of labeled text, 
news articles tagged as positive slash negative or tweets manually classified, these models learn the subtle patterns in language that signal sentiment. Unlike lexicon approaches, they can adapt to slang, new word trends, and the way sentiment is expressed in specific domains. Specialized NLP tools, off-the-shelf NLP libraries offer pre-trained models for tasks like named entity recognition, identifying companies, people, products, and topic modeling, understanding themes within a document. These tools ease integration, allowing your trading system to not just determine if the news is good or bad, but specifically for whom. Building sentiment indicators goes beyond mere positive slash negative classification. Think of variations on these themes. Strength of sentiment, is the article merely factual, or does the language convey extreme optimism or pessimism? This intensity can amplify the predictive power of your indicator. Sentiment change, did investor sentiment abruptly shift from positive to negative following an earnings call? Tracking changes in sentiment over time offers dynamic signals that absolute sentiment scores may miss. Agreement, does a chorus of analysts sing the praises of a stock, or is there a split between bullish and bearish camps? Agreement, or lack thereof, provides unique insights into potential market volatility. But NLP in finance isn't without its hurdles. Sarcasm, easily detected by humans, flummoxes many algorithms. This earnings report is fantastic, might be dripping with sarcasm after particularly disastrous results. Ambiguity abounds, the word volatile can have a neutral meaning for a scientist, but strike fear into the heart of an investor. Even seemingly objective reports can subtly express opinion through loaded word choices. Domain-specific language is another beast. The way sentiment is expressed on financial Twitter is vastly different from a formal earnings press release. Your NLP models should adapt to these nuances to avoid misinterpretations. Integrating sentiment indicators into trading models is where the strategy truly comes together. Sentiment might trigger a new trade, buying a stock with overwhelmingly positive news coverage, increase or decrease position sizes based on market mood, or serve as a confirmation filter for signals generated by other components of your system. Chapter 7, Trend Following Strategies with AI The age-old adage the trend is your friend holds a kernel of wisdom for traders. Riding a sustained market trend, whether up or down, offers the potential for outsized profits. However, human judgment is notoriously flawed when it comes to discerning true trends from the ceaseless churn of market noise. This is where AI can shine, lending its analytical power to systematically profit from market momentum. Identifying an established trend might seem straightforward to human eyes on a clean price chart, but quantifying this into precise rules is trickier than it seems. Let's see how both technical indicators and machine learning approach this task. Technical indicators, the trend followers toolbox moving averages are the backbone of many trend following strategies. When a shorter term moving average, example 50 day, crosses above a longer term average, example 200 day, it's the classic golden cross, signaling a potential uptrend. Conversely, a death cross marks a potential downtrend. Indicators like the ADX, average directional index, go further, quantifying the strength of a prevailing trend, not just its direction. Machine learning, finding trends hidden in plain sight ML algorithms aren't limited to traditional indicators. Trained on massive data sets of price history, these models can uncover subtle patterns that foreshadow the beginning or end of a trend. These patterns might involve complex interactions between multiple technical indicators, price levels, and trading volume, relationships too intricate for a human to detect visually on a chart. Once we can confidently identify a trend, the next step is defining the rules that will govern your AI trading system's entries and exits. Here, balance is key, too tight of rules and you'll be whipsawed in and out of trades by natural market volatility, but too loose, and you'll miss much of the potential profit. Consider two crucial components. Entry rules, should you enter the moment a trend is identified, or wait for a pullback, a brief move against the trend, 
for a better price. Entering on pullbacks can improve your risk reward profile, yet there's always the risk the trend resumes before you get filled. ML excels at optimizing this trade off, finding the pullback patterns that historically preceded strong trend continuations. Exit rules where do you take profits? Trailing stop losses, which move your stop loss upward as the price of the asset rises, are popular with trend followers. Yet, setting stops too tightly can prematurely kick you out of a profitable trade. AI systems can dynamically adjust trailing stops based on volatility measures, seeking a balance between locking in profits and giving the asset room to run. Financial markets aren't static entities. Trend following strategies need to adapt to survive. Cycles of bullishness give way to bear markets, periods of quiet, predictable trends are punctuated by violent volatility spikes. A rigid trading system will break under these shifting conditions. Adaptive trend following with AI is the answer. One approach is training ML models to classify market regimes. Are we in a strong, sustained uptrend, or a choppy sideways market? Based on this classification, the system might employ entirely different sets of entry and exit rules. Another approach is having your ML algorithms constantly learn from recent market data. A spike in volatility might prompt the system to temporarily widen stops and reduce position sizes to weather the storm. Chapter 8, AI-Driven Mean Reversion Strategies If trend following is about riding the wave, mean reversion is about betting on the tide turning. The core concept of mean reversion is grounded in the idea that asset prices, despite their short-term flights of fancy, are tethered to an invisible average price over time. Exuberance pushes prices far above this mean, and pessimism drives them far below. Mean reversion strategies seek to exploit these deviations, wagering that the price will eventually snap back to its normal range. But what's normal in the ever-shifting markets? This is where statistics become our guiding light. Let's outline some key concepts used in mean reversion strategies. Historical average, the simplest mean is a historical average over a look back period. Did a stock surge far above its 200 day moving average? This might signal a potential overbought condition, ripe for a mean reverting pullback. Standard deviation, this measure of volatility helps us quantify just how unusual a price move is. Bollinger bands are a visual embodiment of this concept. When the price pokes outside the upper band, more than two standard deviations above the mean, it may be in overbought territory. Conversely, a dip below the lower band could signal an oversold asset. Statistical tests, the field of statistics offers rigorous tools like the augmented Dickey Fuller, ADF, test to determine if a price series exhibits mean reverting tendencies. While computationally complex, these tests can confirm if an asset historically reverts to a mean in a statistically significant manner. Pinpointing overbought or oversold conditions is just the first piece of the puzzle. For an AI trading system, the following components are essential. Entry triggers, when does your system pull the trigger on a mean reversion trade? A simple approach is entering when an asset crosses a threshold based on standard deviations from the mean. More sophisticated ML models can be trained to detect complex patterns that historically signaled a high probability mean reversion setup. Exit strategies, mean reversion trades have the potential to move against you in the short term. Will you exit on a time-based rule, example close position after a week regardless of profit slash loss, or wait for a price target based on the mean to be reached. A trailing stop loss might help lock in some profit while allowing for further reversion if it continues unexpectedly. Position sizing, mean reversion trades have a lower win rate than pure trend following in many cases. Proper position sizing is vital, as a larger allocation to your mean reversion strategy could compensate for this. But beware, Overconfidence in mean reversion during a strong trending period can lead to disastrous losses. AI brings a unique edge to mean reversion strategies. ML excels at pattern recognition, uncovering subtle signals that a stretched rubber band is about to snap back. Consider the RSI, Relative Strength Index, 
a classic oversold slash overbought indicator. An AI system might learn that certain uncommon formations in RSI foreshadowed powerful reversions that simple threshold-based rules might miss. The dynamic nature of markets demands we go beyond static overbought slash oversold levels. Algorithms can track the volatility of an asset, recognizing that an overbought level during a low volatility period looks vastly different from one formed amidst extreme market swings. Similarly, ML models can detect divergences between price and indicators, spotting cases where an asset keeps making new highs, yet momentum indicators are faltering, a potential early warning of an impending reversion. Chapter 9, Statistical Arbitrage with Machine Learning Statistical arbitrage, or STAT-ARB for short, is an evolution of the classic arbitrage concept, exploiting temporary price discrepancies between related assets. Instead of focusing on simple mispricings of the same asset across exchanges, STAT-ARB aims to identify pairs of highly correlated assets where their prices briefly dance out of sync. The bet is that this divergence is fleeting and that the prices will soon converge, offering a small but relatively low-risk profit. The heart of statistical arbitrage lies in finding correlated pairs. Historically, this might involve traders manually poring over charts, seeking assets that tend to move in tandem. AI supercharges this process. Let's see how. Correlation analysis, at its core, simple correlation measures exist, but the devil's in the details. What time frame should you consider? How do you handle slight lags, where one asset consistently moves a fraction of a second before the other? ML can analyze vast swaths of historical data, pinpointing correlation relationships across massive universes of stocks, ETFs, or even different asset classes. Co-integration for deeper relationships, co-integration is a powerful statistical tool that goes beyond simple correlation. It seeks pairs of assets where a long-term equilibrium exists, even if their prices diverge in the short term. Highly co-integrated pairs offer more reliable mean reverting price discrepancies, making them attractive targets for STAT-ARB models. Unsupervised learning to uncover hidden pairs, techniques like clustering can be employed to group assets based on their historical price behavior. The algorithm may discover pairs with a strong correlation that a human trader wouldn't have thought to analyze. This opens up the potential for uncovering arbitrage relationships in unexpected corners of the market. With pairs in hand, the next hurdle is spotting those lucrative divergences in real time and executing trades with lightning speed to exploit them. This is where AI-powered execution shines. AI-driven opportunity detection, algorithms tirelessly monitor the price streams of your correlated pairs. Beyond simple price thresholds, ML can learn the subtle patterns that often precede a profitable divergence. It can dynamically adjust entry and exit thresholds, adapting to changing volatility and liquidity conditions in the market. Optimized trade execution, speed is the name of the game. Arbitrage profits are often tiny, so rapid order placement and minimizing slippage, the difference between your expected price and where your order actually gets filled, is paramount. AI-powered order routing systems learn to minimize slippage, potentially squeezing out additional profit from each trade. STAT-ARB isn't a risk-free endeavor. Here's where a healthy dose of risk management is essential. Correlation breaks down, the cornerstone of STAT-ARB is that historically correlated assets will continue to behave the same way. Black swan events, sudden shifts in market sentiment, and even changes in corporate structure, mergers, spin-offs, can shatter correlations, leaving you holding a losing position. Liquidity risk, sometimes arbitrage opportunity vanishes as soon as you attempt to seize it. If the assets involved are thinly traded, your large orders themselves can move the market, making the profit evaporate. AI models can factor in liquidity measures, prioritizing pairs with sufficient trading volume to handle your desired position sizes. Execution risk, even the fastest algorithm is at the mercy of real-world infrastructure. Network delays, exchange outages, or unexpected errors in your trading system can derail carefully planned arbitrage trades. Robust error handling and redundancy are a must. 
statistical arbitrage is a high-frequency game. This means generating a substantial profit often requires running your AI strategies across a wide array of peers and executing many small trades. Portfolio construction and position sizing become crucial. AI techniques can be used to optimize your portfolio of stat arb peers, seeking diversification, and managing overall exposure to market risk. Part 3, Building and Optimizing AI Trading Systems Chapter 10, Choosing the Right Programming Language The language you choose is the foundation upon which your AI trading systems are built. It shapes how you'll manipulate data, implement those intricate algorithms, and ultimately turn your ideas into real-world trading strategies. Let's weigh the contenders in the battle for the quantitative trader's attention. Python, the versatile titan. Python consistently reigns supreme in the realm of financial data analysis and AI trading. Here's why it's so beloved. Readability, Python's clean syntax often reads like pseudocode, making it quick to learn and an excellent choice for collaborative projects. This readability reduces maintenance headaches as your code base grows. The ecosystem, Python boasts a vast collection of libraries tailored for quantitative trading. NumberPy provides powerful array manipulation and numerical computation, while Pandas offers its indispensable data frames for structured data. Scikit-learn is your Swiss army knife of classical machine learning algorithms. For deep learning titans like TensorFlow and PyTorch offer unmatched flexibility. Community, Python's massive user base translates to a wealth of online tutorials, documentation, and seasoned traders willing to assist on forums. Chances are, if you have a problem with your trading code, someone in the Python world has already solved it. R, the statistician's weapon. R was born in the halls of academia, specifically designed for statistical computing and data visualization. Here's where it shines. Statistical Roots, R offers an unparalleled range of statistical functions and tests at your fingertips. If you need to run obscure regression models or calculate exotic risk metrics, R likely has a well-tested package available. Visualization, R's plotting capabilities are legendary, with libraries like Bla2 allowing for stunning visualizations that can illuminate hidden patterns in your data. This is invaluable when exploring your data and communicating the performance of your models. Domain-specific packages, R boasts a strong presence in specific areas of finance, with packages dedicated to econometrics, time series analysis, and even portfolio optimization. Other contenders. While Python and R dominate, Let's not dismiss other languages that hold value in niche areas. C++, the need for speed, when raw performance is paramount, think high-frequency trading, C++ is often the answer. It's close to the metal nature and fine-grained memory control give it an edge, but at the cost of development time and complexity. MATLAB, the engineer's choice MATLAB finds use in computationally intense research, providing a friendly environment for prototyping quantitative models. However, it can be expensive for individual traders. Beyond the language, popular libraries. The libraries you use are as vital as the core language itself. Let's recap some Python heavyweights. NumberPy, the bedrock for numerical computing. Multidimensional arrays and vectorized operations make working with vast financial data sets efficient. Pandas, transforms raw data into tidy data frames, ideal for slicing, dicing, and performing time series analysis. Seamlessly integrates with plotting libraries for data exploration. Scikit-learn, your entry point into the world of machine learning. Provides implementations of a wide range of algorithms, from linear regression to random forests and support vector machines. TensorFlow slash PyTorch, Build intricate deep learning architectures for tasks like market prediction, sentiment analysis, and complex pattern recognition. Integrated Development Environments, IDEs. An IDE is your trading code's home. A good IDE streamlines development with features like code completion, debugging tools, and built-in testing. Popular choices for Python include PyCharm, 
a fully featured IDE with intelligent code assistance and integrated version control. VS Code, free, highly customizable, and supports numerous programming languages. Spider, geared towards scientific computing, with a focus on data exploration and visualization. The right language is subjective. Python is a fantastic starting point due to its ease of use and versatility. If you have a strong background in statistics, R may be worth exploring. Ultimately, the best way to choose is to experiment with both and see which aligns best with your thinking and workflow. Chapter 11, Data-Driven Backtesting Before you unleash your carefully crafted AI strategy into the wilds of live markets, backtesting provides a simulated glimpse into the future. It's your time machine, allowing you to see how your system would have performed if it had traded in the past. The purpose of backtesting isn't merely to find strategies that made money in the past but to uncover robust strategies likely to continue profiting in the future. But, backtesting is a tool fraught with peril if not wielded carefully. Let's outline the dangers that lie in wait. Overfitting, the data-driven mirage the insidious enemy of backtesting is overfitting. It's tempting to tweak your model's parameters until it paints a rosy picture of the past. However, an overfee model has essentially memorized the nuances of your training data, mistaking noise for the true signal. In the real world, where the future will never perfectly replicate the past, these models crumble. Look ahead bias, the sins of unseen data subtle forms of look ahead bias can leak into your back test, inflating your results. Say you use a technical indicator calculated with the closing price of the day. But in your back test, could your system have traded before that closing price was known? Even tiny instances of your system knowing information it wouldn't have in real time can distort results. Survivorship bias, the ghosts of failed companies if your back test spans a long time period, be mindful of vanished stocks. Including only companies that exist today paints an overly optimistic picture. Data providers offer survivorship bias free data sets to combat this. Combating overfitting, validation techniques. The war against overfitting is won through rigorous data discipline. Here's your arsenal. Out of sample testing, the cornerstone principle is to split your data into a training set, where your model learns, and a strictly untouched testing set. Performance on the testing set is a more honest gauge of your model's generalization potential. Walk forward testing, beyond a single snapshot. Walk forward testing simulates how you'd retrain your model over time. Your data is divided into chunks. You train on one chunk, test on the next, then move your training window forward. This reveals if performance degrades as market conditions shift. Cross validation. Maximizing your data if your data limited, cross-validation squeezes more from your data set. It splits your data into multiple folds. Each fold acts as a testing set, while the model is trained on the remaining folds. This provides multiple out-of-sample measurements of performance. Performance metrics, it's not just about profit. Raw profit is intoxicating, but a robust backtest analyzes performance from multiple angles. Risk-adjusted returns, Sharpe ratio and Sortino ratio illuminate if your strategy takes on excessive risk to achieve those returns. Were your profits a lucky streak or the result of repeatable skill? Drawdowns, every strategy has losing periods. Maximum drawdown quantifies your worst-case scenario and is vital for realistic position sizing. Can you stomach it psychologically? Trade statistics, how many trades does your system generate? What's the average win-slash-loss ratio? This informs you about transaction costs and whether your strategy is suited for the assets you plan to trade. The limitations of backtesting. Even the most carefully crafted backtest is a simplified model of reality. Here's why. Market impact. Backtests assume you could buy or sell any quantity at the test price. In reality, Large orders move the market against you, an effect impossible to perfectly simulate. Psychological pressure, a backtest charts a course, but it does not replicate the emotional turmoil of watching real money on the line. 
even the most disciplined trader may deviate from their system under stress. Black swans, unpredictable, market-moving events, think flash crashes or sudden policy shifts, are by definition impossible to model in a backtest, yet they are a harsh reality of live trading. Backtesting is an iterative process. Analyze the failures as much as the successes of your system. Where does the model break down? Often this will reveal hidden assumptions you made or weaknesses that require a rethink of your strategy or stricter data handling. Chapter 12, Risk Management for AI Algo Trading Trading is inseparable from risk. AI models can make eerily accurate predictions or uncover lucrative arbitrage opportunities, but they offer no immunity to the inherent volatility of markets. Risk management is the art of defining what level of risk you're willing to bear and implementing safeguards to minimize the chance of catastrophic loss. Let's dissect the different flavors of risk lurking in the world of AI-driven trading. Market risk, the beast you can't tame market risk encompasses all factors that can cause asset prices to move, economic shocks, interest rate changes, geopolitical crises, and good old-fashioned panics. Managing market risk involves diversification across asset classes and understanding your position's sensitivity to these external forces. Model risk, when your algorithm is wrong even the most sophisticated AI model is built upon assumptions. If those assumptions are flawed or the market enters a regime your model wasn't trained for, losses can pile up swiftly. Model risk highlights the need for continuous monitoring of your AI's performance and a healthy dose of skepticism towards its output. Operational risk, the devil in the details trading infrastructure is complex. Faulty code, data errors, broker outages, even the most elegant strategy can be brought down by mundane technical failures. Operational risk emphasizes the importance of robust error handling, redundant systems, and thorough testing outside the backtesting environment. Protecting yourself from these risks requires a multi-pronged approach. Let's outline key tools. Stop loss orders, your emergency break never trade without a stop loss. This simple instruction to your broker automatically exits a losing position when the price falls below a preset level. AI systems may falter, a stop loss limits the damage when they do. However, Stop loss placement is an art, too tight, and normal volatility kicks you out of trades, too loose, and you risk catastrophic losses. Backtesting can help find the balance. Position sizing, don't bet the farm even with stop losses, large position sizes amplify risk. Prudent position sizing means risking only a small percentage of your capital on any single trade. There are various methods, from fixed percentages to more sophisticated models like the Kelly criterion which aims to optimize allocation based on win probability and potential profit slash loss. Scenario analysis, peering into potential disasters what if the stock market crashes 20%? What if volatility suddenly triples? Scenario analysis injects extreme what if events into your portfolio and calculates the potential drawdown your account will suffer. While it won't predict the unpredictable, it forces you to consider the unlikely but devastating. Stress testing, pushing your system to the brink stress testing takes scenario analysis a step further. By backtesting your AI models on periods of extreme market turmoil, think the 2008 financial crisis or the flash crash of 2010, you reveal vulnerabilities that may not be apparent in calmer periods. Does your strategy completely fall apart when volatility spikes? This knowledge is vital before deploying live capital. AI opens the door to unique risk management techniques. Imagine an ML model trained to detect early signs of a market regime shift, an increase in correlation breakdowns, spiking volatility indicators, or unusual sentiment patterns. This model could act as an early warning system, prompting your trading algorithms to reduce position sizes, tighten stops, or even move to cash preemptively before the storm hits. Risk management isn't just about loss prevention, it's about aligning your trading with your personal risk tolerance. A gut-churning drawdown may be perfectly acceptable to a seasoned trader with a long time horizon but could lead to disastrously emotional decisions for a beginner. 
AI models can themselves be a source of hidden risk. A deep neural network trained for market prediction is often a black box, it may be producing accurate signals, but it's difficult to understand why. Should you adjust position sizes based on the confidence output by the model? Should you completely override the system if it produces a signal that doesn't fit your understanding of the current market? These are questions without easy answers, requiring a blend of trust in your AI system and sound judgment as a trader. Chapter 13, Live Deployment and Monitoring Months of careful development, rigorous backtesting, and sleepless nights filled with visions of your AI system printing money. Now, it's time to unleash your creation upon the real markets. Deployment marks the point where profits stop being theoretical and your risk becomes painfully tangible. Integrating your AI models with the messy world of live trading infrastructure is a complex hurdle. Here's the journey ahead. The bridge to your broker, rarely will you hand enter trades based on your AI signals. Most brokers offer APIs, application programming interfaces, that allow for automated order placement. Your code will need to establish secure communication with your broker and translate your AI's outputs into orders their systems understand. Choosing a trading platform, many platforms provide interfaces that streamline interaction with brokers and offer varying levels of customization. MetaTrader is a popular choice with a native programming language, while platforms offering integration with Python or R may be preferred for complex AI system development. Harnessing the cloud, deployment can mean running your systems on your local computer, but cloud-based solutions are increasingly attractive. They offer scalability, adding computing power as needed during high activity periods, redundancy, your system keeps running if your home internet fails, and ease of access to market data. With the infrastructure in place, monitoring your live trading AI system is paramount. Consider these components. Real-time performance dashboard, go beyond just current profit slash loss. Visualize key performance metrics relevant to your strategy. Are your models win rates in line with backtesting? Is the average execution slippage within acceptable limits? A well-designed dashboard offers an at-a-glance view into the health of your system. Trade level logging, when a trade goes wrong, and they will, you need data to perform a post-mortem. Meticulously log each trade's entry slash exit signals, the time of execution, the exact prices filled, and any relevant output from your models at the time. Alerts and notifications, don't become a slave to your dashboard. Set up automated alerts that notify you of major drawdowns, a system going offline unexpectedly, or trades filled at prices drastically different than expected. These timely alerts can save you from a disaster brewing out of sight. Even the best laid plans can falter. Error handling and troubleshooting are your safety nets when the unexpected strikes. Robust error handling, never assume anything goes as planned. Code with the expectation that network connections will fail, data feeds will lag, and your broker's API may change unexpectedly. Graceful error handling can often auto-correct issues or at least shut down your trading in an orderly manner to avoid runaway losses. Redundancy where it matters, is real-time market data the lifeblood of your system? Consider a backup data provider to mitigate outages. Are you trading large sizes where order execution is critical? Explore using multiple brokers for redundancy. The unexplainable anomaly, sometimes your AI system may produce a trade that makes no sense based on your understanding of the strategy. Resist the urge to dismiss it as a glitch. Investigate relentlessly, this could expose a subtle bug in your code, bad data, or reveal a flaw in your strategy's logic. Troubleshooting live trading systems requires a different mindset than development. Here's where patience becomes just as vital as coding skill. Replicate the problem, can you reproduce the error in a controlled environment? Isolation is key to pinpointing if the issue lies in your code, your broker's systems, or somewhere in between. Version control is your friend, being able to roll back your code changes or revert to known working configurations is essential if an update has unintended consequences. Don't panic, diagnose, losing streaks are inevitable. 
the key is differentiating between an AI model temporarily underperforming and a system breaking down. Hasty, emotionally driven fixes when under pressure often compound the problem. The reality of live trading is that it's a dynamic environment. Your broker may institute stricter rate limits on their API, market liquidity can dry up unexpectedly, or the character of the markets themselves can evolve. Ongoing monitoring and a willingness to adapt your AI systems and their integration with the trading infrastructure are essential for long-term survival. Chapter 14, The Psychology of AI Trading Building AI trading systems involves a deep understanding of algorithms and market dynamics. Yet, the true battlefield lies within the trader's own mind. Human psychology, with its biases and emotional impulses, can derail rational strategies and erode the potential benefits your AI offers. Let's dissect common psychological traps and outline ways to overcome them. Overconfidence, the enemy of adaption A glittering backtest or string of profitable trades can breed dangerous overconfidence. You might start dismissing your AI signals that contradict your newfound market wisdom or increase position sizes recklessly. It's vital to remember that markets are humbling, no strategy is infallible. Confirmation bias, seeing what you want it's natural to seek information that reinforces your existing beliefs while subconsciously downplaying contradictory evidence. If your bullish AI model throws a sell signal, you might suddenly latch onto that one economic news indicator that might support your hope for a continued rally. Actively seek out the counter-argument, force yourself to consider why the AI might be right and you might be wrong. Loss aversion, when pain clouds judgment the sting of losses often outweighs the joy of equal-sized gains. This can lead to holding onto losing positions far too long, hoping for a rebound, it has to come back up eventually, or prematurely exiting winning trades in fear of profits evaporating. Letting your emotions dictate overrides to your system shatters its risk management and profit-taking rules. Emotional discipline is the key to AI trading success. Here's how to cultivate it. Your system is king, your AI system is the product of rigorous analysis and backtesting. When self-doubt or emotions creep in, remind yourself of the objective performance data that led you to trust your system. If it was good enough to follow last week, what has fundamentally changed? Pre-plan your actions, don't make crucial decisions in the heat of the moment. Define, in advance, the conditions that would cause you to temporarily disable your AI system, reduce position sizes, or reevaluate your models. This could be a major drawdown exceeding a threshold, sustained underperformance compared to its back test, or external events roiling the markets. Journal your trades, especially the painful ones. A trade journal is a powerful tool for self reflection. Recording the reasons behind your AI overrides, both successful and failed reveals patterns in your thinking. Are you consistently misinterpreting specific trade signals? This feedback loop is essential for improvement. Intuition, honed through years of market experience, shouldn't be completely discarded in AI trading. Let's explore how to strike the right balance. Intuition as a filter, can intuition help inform when to step up monitoring of your AI system? Perhaps subtle changes in news sentiment or increased chatter on trader forums is making you uneasy, even if the AI hasn't explicitly reacted yet. Use this unease to delve deeper into the model's recent outputs and overall market conditions. Intuition in system design, which features you feed into your AI and the types of trading strategies it employs are influenced by your implicit understanding of how markets work. Backtesting then acts as a way to objectively validate or challenge your assumptions. Explainable AI as a bridge, if your AI models are complete black boxes, it will naturally erode trust over time. Research into explainable AI, XAI, aims to make the decision processes of complex models more understandable to humans. This can facilitate a collaborative relationship, harnessing both the power of AI and the seasoned trader's nuanced judgment. The psychology of AI trading is an ongoing battle. Moments of greed, fear, or stubbornness are inevitable. Let's outline some practices for building mental resilience. Embrace the long game, 
AI trading thrives on consistent application, not home run trades. Focus on the probabilistic nature of your edge, not single outcomes. Mindfulness techniques, meditation or simple breathing exercises can help calm the mind during periods of market frenzy and bring you back to rational decision making. Take breaks, staring at blood red positions clouds judgment. Recognize when you are no longer thinking clearly and step away to reset. Part 4, Advanced AI Trading Techniques Chapter 15, Deep Learning for Financial Forecasting Traditional machine learning models often struggle to fully capture the intricate relationships and hidden patterns swirling within financial markets. Deep Learning, a subset of machine learning, offers powerful tools to unlock these complexities and potentially improve forecasting accuracy. Let's dissect key deep learning architectures specifically suited for financial market challenges. Recurrent Neural Networks RNNs masters of sequential data RNNs have an internal memory, allowing them to process sequences of data, like time series of stock prices. They excel at uncovering patterns that unfold over time. Imagine an RNN learning to detect subtle changes in momentum indicators or the interplay between price and volume that foreshadow a trend reversal. Long short-term memory networks, LSTMs fighting the vanishing gradient A limitation of simple RNNs is the vanishing gradient problem, where the influence of past data points fades over long time sequences. LSTMs are specialized RNNs with intricate gates that selectively regulate the flow of information. The key benefit is the ability to capture both short-term dependencies and longer-term trends vital for financial forecasting. Convolutional Neural Networks CNN's pattern seekers extraordinaire famed for image recognition, CNN's also find intriguing applications in finance. Consider a chart of a stock's price action as an image. CNN's can be trained to detect complex candlestick patterns, chart formations, or even subtle textures within the price data that traditional indicators might miss. These patterns might hold predictive power humans struggle to perceive directly. Deep learning shines when applied to the messy, chaotic beauty of markets. Time series forecasting, RNNs and LSDMs are go-to tools for forecasting the future trajectory of asset prices. They can be fed not only the price itself but also a rich array of technical indicators, volume data, or even related financial time series, think the correlation between a stock and its sector index, to improve accuracy. Nonlinear dynamics, Markets rarely move in perfect straight lines. Deep learning models excel at capturing nonlinear relationships that linear models cannot. Think of the complex feedback loops between price, volatility, and sentiment, relationships ripe for deep learning to model. Multi-source data integration, the beauty of deep learning lies in its ability to handle diverse data types. Feed your model's raw price data, structured technical indicators, new sentiment scores, and even unconventional data like social media chatter. The model might uncover hidden interactions between these sources that boost prediction accuracy. Harnessing deep learning for trading involves a blend of art and science. Here's the journey. Feature engineering, while deep learning lessens the need for meticulous handcrafted features compared to traditional ML, smart feature selection still matters. Should you input raw prices or focus on indicators highlighting momentum or volatility regimes? Experimentation is key. Avoiding overfitting, deep learning models have a vast number of parameters. Rigorous validation techniques, outlined in our backtesting chapter, are vital to prevent the model from simply memorizing the noise of your training data. Walk forward validation for time series. The way you split data for validation needs to mimic the realities of live trading. Simply randomly segmenting your time series data will inflate results, walk forward validation offers a more realistic assessment. Taming complexity, LSDMs and CNNs are computationally demanding. You may need specialized hardware, GPUs, for training. Consider cloud-based solutions for access to processing power on demand. Deep learning doesn't mean abandoning our simpler models. Consider these use cases. Enhancing ML predictions, 
the output of your linear regression or decision tree models can become features themselves in a deep learning model, allowing it to uncover nonlinear interactions between simpler signals. Deep learning for regime detection, is the market in a ranging, volatile, or trending phase. Deep learning models trained on historical price action and volatility measures can classify these regimes. Then, simpler trading strategies optimized specifically for each regime can be employed. Handling unstructured data, deep learning offers unmatched power for processing sentiment from news headlines, social media, or even corporate earnings call transcripts. The extracted sentiment scores can then feed into traditional models or act as a confirmation signal for trade ideas. Chapter 16, Reinforcement Learning for Adaptive Trading Traditional AI trading strategies often prescribe fixed rules based on historical patterns. But markets are living entities, constantly evolving and shifting. Reinforcement learning offers a paradigm shift, empowering trading systems to learn and adapt in real time through direct interaction with the market environment. Let's first understand how we frame trading as a reinforcement learning problem. State, the agents, are trading systems, understanding of the current market situation. This includes the current price, relevant technical indicators, positions held, recent market news, anything that helps the agent make informed decisions. Actions, the choices our agent can take, buy, sell, hold, or perhaps more complex actions like adjusting stop losses or position sizes. Reward, the critical feedback loop. Rewards, or penalties, are received based on the outcome of our agent's actions. Did a buy action result in a profit when the position was later closed? Did holding during a volatile period lead to a large drawdown? The reward structure shapes the agent's learning process. Now, let's outline the core RL techniques used for trading. Q learning, building a map of actions and rewards. Q learning is a foundational RL algorithm. It builds something akin to a treasure map, a Q table that maps states, market situations, to the expected future reward of each possible action in that state. Through trial and error, the agent learns which actions tend to yield the highest rewards in different scenarios. Deep Q learning, DQN unlocking complexity when the number of possible states and actions explodes, simple Q tables become impractical. Deep Q networks use the power of deep neural networks to approximate the Q function. This enables handling the vast complexities of real-world markets filled with subtle nuances and near-infinite state combinations. Policy-based RL, learning direct decision-making instead of a Q table, policy-based methods like actor-critic models directly learn a policy. This policy tells the agent which action to take, given the current state, in a way that maximizes expected long-term rewards. The true power of RL for trading lies in adaptation. Self-optimization, in the dynamic world of markets, no strategy is foolproof forever. RL agents continuously refine their actions based on the feedback they receive. A change in market volatility, the breakdown of a correlation, these shifts might be unnoticed by a static trading system, but an RL agent can learn to adapt. Discovering novel strategies, RL doesn't rely on human programmed rules. With a well-structured problem definition and reward system, agents may uncover counterintuitive, yet highly profitable, trading strategies that a human might never consider. Exploitation vs. Exploration, RL agents strike a crucial balance. They exploit learned strategies that have proven successful but also continuously explore new actions. This exploration could lead to the discovery of even better strategies or allow the agent to swiftly adapt should the market regime change dramatically. Considerations for building RL trading systems. Reward design is art, how you structure rewards is paramount. Short-term profit alone can lead to disastrously risky behavior. Incorporating drawdown penalties, encouraging smooth equity curves, and balancing risk-adjusted returns are crucial for long-term success. Simulations before live, RL agents often require vast amounts of experience to learn. 
backtesting is unlikely to replicate the true nuances of live market interaction. Simulated trading environments that allow for higher speed interaction can be a safer stepping stone, enabling the agent to learn from its mistakes without catastrophic real-world consequences. Partial observability, a true agent in a live market never sees the complete picture. Only current prices, past data, and its own recent trades are truly known. Ensure your RL model is designed to handle this partial information, as opposed to being trained in a simulation where perfect godlike knowledge of the market state is available. Explainability challenge, complex RL models often lack the clear-cut decision-making transparency of simpler rule-based systems. This calls for both rigorous monitoring and the development of techniques to understand the reasoning, however opaque, behind the agent's actions. Chapter 17, Ensemble Learning for Robust Trading The wisdom of the crowd often surpasses the judgment of even the most skilled individual. Ensemble learning brings this philosophy to the world of AI trading. By strategically combining predictions or signals from diverse models, the goal is to achieve greater accuracy and resilience than any single model could achieve in isolation. Let's dissect the core techniques of ensemble learning. Bagging, wisdom through randomness bagging, short for bootstrap aggregating, introduces an element of randomness into model creation. Multiple models of the same type, example several decision trees, are trained on different, randomly subsampled data sets drawn from your main training data. The final prediction is an average or a vote across these models. The key here is that by seeing slightly different slices of the data, each model is likely to make different errors, which cancel out when the results are averaged. Boosting, learning from mistakes boosting algorithms, like the popular AdaBoost or Gradient Boosting, tackle learning iteratively. The first model is trained on the data. Subsequent models put extra emphasis on the data points where the previous model performed poorly. The final prediction combines these successive models, often using a weighted contribution based on each model's overall accuracy. The intuition is that as the ensemble grows, it focuses on the increasingly difficult cases, improving the overall performance. Stacking, a meta-learner stacking takes a different approach. Instead of the same type of model trained in different ways, stacking combines the outputs of entirely distinct models, perhaps a decision tree, a neural network, and an SVM. One more model, a meta-learner, is trained on these outputs and figures out how to optimally combine them to arrive at a final prediction. Why does ensemble learning bring an edge to trading? Reduced overfitting, individual models have a tendency to overfee the specific quirks of your training data. By averaging across multiple models in a bagging ensemble, or focusing on increasingly wrong data points in boosting, that overfitting tendency is reduced, leading to better performance on unseen market conditions. Diversifying model risk, no model is infallible. Market regimes shift, and a model that excelled in a trending environment might flounder in sideways conditions. Ensembles built with diverse underlying models offer some insurance against this, weaknesses in one model might be compensated for by the strengths of another. Enhanced stability, financial markets are inherently noisy. A single model might react too strongly to short-term random fluctuations. The smoothing effect of ensemble techniques can dampen sensitivity to noise, resulting in less erratic trade signals and smoother equity curves. Ensemble learning in trading isn't just about blindly combining any models at hand. Here's how to create effective ensembles. Diversity is key, if all your models are built on the same indicators and trained on the same data, they're likely to make the same mistakes. True strength comes from combining models with different underlying logic, trained on various data sources or time frames. Correlation matters, ideally, the errors made by your ensemble members should be relatively uncorrelated. If all your models falter on the same types of market conditions, you haven't gained much. Studying the correlation of model errors can inform intelligent choices when building your ensemble. Unstable models can benefit, if you have a promising model plagued by slightly erratic performance or sensitivity to specific market conditions, ensembles are a powerful remedy. 
combining it with steadier, if slightly less accurate models, can result in greater overall performance. Weighted ensembles for adaptation, simple averaging or voting treats all ensemble members equally. More sophisticated schemes dynamically adjust the weight given to each model based on its recent performance or confidence in its prediction. This allows the ensemble to adapt as conditions or model strengths change. Chapter 18, Harnessing Alternative Data for a Competitive Edge Traditional financial data, the lifeblood of most trading strategies, is becoming increasingly commoditized. To gain an edge requires venturing beyond the well-worn territory of prices, indicators, and fundamental reports. Alternative data, mined from unconventional sources, offers the potential to capture market dynamics invisible to those relying solely on traditional information. Let's explore some intriguing categories of alternative data. Social media sentiment, the raw, unfiltered chatter on Twitter, Reddit forums, and financial blogs is a treasure trove of real-time insights into how traders and the public perceive a company, a sector, or even the overall market. Advanced NLP, natural language processing, techniques can distill this noisy data into actionable sentiment signals that may foreshadow price moves not yet reflected in the market. Satellite imagery, a view from above for traders, space is the new frontier. Images tracking the number of cars in retail parking lots can offer clues on sales well before official figures are released. Ships clustered outside ports could indicate supply chain bottlenecks. Specialized providers aggregate and process this imagery, making it accessible for trading strategies. Web search trends, Google has its finger on the collective pulse of the public. Spikes in searches for terms like recession or stock market crash signal fear brewing below the surface. Harnessing search data allows you to potentially detect shifts in investor sentiment early or identify trends in specific sectors as public interest grows. Geolocation data, anonymous tracking of mobile devices paints a detailed picture of consumer behavior. Surges in foot traffic at a specific retailer's stores, visits to supplier locations, even employee parking lot density could offer hints about corporate health, painting a picture more timely than traditional quarterly reports. Sourcing and harnessing alternative data comes with its own set of challenges. Finding the signal amidst the noise, social media is rife with jokes, sarcasm, and bots. Cleaning and accurately extracting sentiment is a complex task. A satellite image of a full parking lot means nothing without context, is it a holiday weekend, or a sign of booming sales? Validation woes, unlike meticulously audited price data, alternative data often lacks a clear benchmark of accuracy. How do you determine if a third-party sentiment provider is truly capturing the mood of the market and not just amplifying the voices of a few loud influencers? The cost factor, providers of high-quality alternative data understand the value of their offerings. These datasets can come with hefty price tags, necessitating careful evaluation to assess whether the potential alpha generation justifies the expense. Bias in unstructured data, social media and web search trends can reflect ingrained biases within society. It's crucial to understand these potential biases and mitigate their influence on your AI models to avoid replicating real-world discrimination in your trading decisions. Integrating alternative data into your AI trading systems necessitates a shift in thinking. Complementary, not replacement, alternative data shines brightest when combined with traditional sources. Sentiment might identify a potential opportunity, but technical and fundamental analysis can fine-tune entry-slash-exit points and risk management. Feature engineering for the unstructured, Transforming a raw tweet into features your AI model understands requires NLP mastery. Topic modeling, identification of key entities, and sophisticated sentiment scoring lie at the heart of leveraging this data effectively. AI for extracting alpha, machine learning is often the key to finding the elusive patterns within alternative data sets. Does a specific pattern in sentiment language predict near-term price reversals? Can a combination of satellite data and crop yield models forecast agricultural commodity prices with higher accuracy? Look for leading indicators, 
the true value in alternative data often lies in its ability to offer leading insights. Is an uptick in negative social mentions an early warning sign of a brewing scandal about to erupt for a company? Alternative data can provide the canary in the coal mine for your AI models. Chapter 19, AI-Powered Portfolio Optimization Modern Portfolio Theory, MPT, pioneered by Harry Markowitz, laid the foundation for understanding the interplay between risk and return in investing. While a cornerstone of traditional finance, MPT can be supercharged with the predictive power and adaptability offered by AI. At the heart of MPT lies the concept of diversification. By holding assets with low correlation, their prices don't always move in tandem, the overall risk of your portfolio is reduced without necessarily sacrificing expected returns. Markowitz optimization provides the mathematical framework to find the efficient frontier, portfolios with the highest expected return for a given level of risk, or the lowest risk for a given target return. But MPT relies on certain assumptions and inputs. Expected returns, estimating the future returns of individual assets is notoriously difficult and error-prone. Traditional models often rely on historical averages, an imperfect predictor in dynamic markets. Risk forecasting, MPT often uses historical volatility as a proxy for risk. But is past volatility a reliable guide to the future, especially during market turmoil? What about correlations amongst assets, are they assumed constant, or is there a way to anticipate when relationships may break down? Assumptions of normality, many standard optimization techniques assume asset returns follow a normal distribution. The real world is far messy, with fat tails and the potential for black swan events. This is where AI offers exciting enhancements to the classic MPT framework. AI-driven return forecasts, machine learning models can analyze vast data sets of market data, fundamental factors, and potentially even alternative data to produce more nuanced and potentially more accurate forecasts of future asset returns compared to simple historical averages. Forecasting risk and correlations, AI excels at uncovering hidden patterns. Sophisticated models could anticipate periods of heightened volatility or flag when correlations between assets are starting to shift, allowing for proactive adjustments to portfolio allocations. Stress test scenarios, what happens to your optimal portfolio if a market crash occurs, or if geopolitical tensions spike? AI simulations, combined with scenario analysis, can assess portfolio vulnerability far beyond what traditional sensitivity analysis offers. The goal is not to abandon the wisdom of MPT, but to refine its inputs using the power of AI. Here's how this plays out in practice. Dynamic asset allocation, instead of static buy and hold allocations, AI-powered models can suggest adjustments to portfolio weights over time. This could be driven by shifting risk forecasts, changes in the correlation structure of the market, or by identifying assets where AI models have spotted a high probability mispricing opportunity. Tailored risk profiles, MPT often boils down risk tolerance to a simple questionnaire. AI can power a more personal approach. By analyzing past trading behavior, responses to hypothetical scenarios, or even incorporating biometric data, a nuanced understanding of an individual's true risk appetite can emerge. Portfolios can then be optimized to match this specific tolerance, not just generic conservative or aggressive buckets. Beyond stocks and bonds, MPT was born in a simpler world. AI unlocks optimization for portfolios including complex assets like options, cryptocurrencies, or even real estate. This requires models that understand the unique return and risk characteristics of these diverse instruments. Considerations for building AI-powered portfolio optimization systems. Error magnification, optimization is sensitive to input errors. If your AI forecasts are slightly off, those errors could cascade, resulting in unintended portfolio imbalances. A healthy dose of skepticism about your model's outputs and robust error handling are essential. The need for explainability, blindly trusting a complex AI model to manage your hard-earned money is a recipe for sleepless nights. 
Develop techniques to understand why a model suggests a portfolio change, surfacing the key factors driving its decision making. Adapting to regime shifts, a model optimized for a raging bull market might flounder when volatility ramps up. Building in regime awareness, where the optimization engine adjusts based on a classification of the current market environment, can enhance resilience. The human touch, MPT, even with the best AI inputs, remains a model. Use it as a powerful tool, not an infallible oracle. Portfolio optimization should be a dialogue between the insights offered by AI and the investor's own market understanding and long-term goals. Part B, The Future of AI Trading Chapter 20, High Frequency Trading, HFT, with AI HFT is a ruthless battleground where speed is king. Winning strategies don't just aim to predict market direction, they seek to scalp minuscule profits by exploiting fleeting price discrepancies, executing thousands of trades per day. The human mind is far too slow for this game, it's a domain where AI-powered algorithms thrive. The fundamental premise of HFT revolves around these key components. The need for speed, information travels through fiber optic cables at near the speed of light, but even that isn't always fast enough. HFT firms engage in an arms race for the lowest possible latency. This can involve co-location, placing your trading servers as physically close as possible to the exchange's matching engines, minimizing the distance signals have to travel. O ultra optimized code, every microsecond counts. Code is often meticulously handcrafted in low level languages to squeeze out maximum performance. O specialized hardware, offloading network processing tasks onto specialized FPGAs, field programmable gate arrays, can free up precious CPU cycles for the core trading logic. AI powered strategies, AI is the brains behind modern HFT. Here's where it excels. O statistical arbitrage at warp speed, identifying and exploiting tiny pricing discrepancies across different exchanges or between related instruments, think ETFs and their underlying stocks, is a classic HFT play. AI models can analyze massive amounts of market data in real time to uncover these opportunities human eyes would glaze over. O ultra short term predictions, AI can build models trained on high frequency order book data, aiming to predict subtle, microsecond level fluctuations in bids and asks. These seemingly minuscule moves can be profitable when repeated over vast numbers of trades. O order flow and tape reading, AI algorithms can be trained to detect patterns in the real time stream of orders and trades, potentially spotting signs of large institutional orders being executed, allowing them to briefly front run the market. Market microstructure, successful HFT isn't just about raw speed and AI models. A deep understanding of market microstructure, the nitty gritty rules governing order types, matching mechanics, and how liquidity emerges, is essential to avoid falling prey to the strategies of competing firms. HFT is a controversial beast, often painted in a negative light. Let's examine some common criticisms and concerns. Does HFT provide liquidity or exploit it? Proponents argue that HFT firms provide vital liquidity to the markets, narrowing bid-ask spreads and ensuring others can buy or sell when needed. Critics counter that this liquidity is ephemeral and vanishes during periods of market stress, precisely when it's needed most. Unfair advantage? Investments in cutting-edge technology and co-location are expensive. This creates a barrier to entry potentially entrenching the dominance of a few large HFT players and making it difficult for smaller participants to compete. Flash crashes and manipulation, lightning fast algorithms reacting to each other can create cascading feedback loops that exacerbate sudden market moves. The infamous flash crash of 2010 has been partially blamed on HFT activity. Furthermore, strategies like quote stuffing, flooding the market with orders that are then cancelled, raise concerns about potential manipulation for nefarious ends. Regulation of HFT is a complex and ongoing debate. Measures such as order-to-trade ratios, designed to curb excessive order cancellation, and speed bumps, 
intentional microsecond delays in order execution, have been proposed to mitigate some of the negative impacts. Considerations for building AI-powered HFT strategies Data is king, the fresher the better, access to clean, real-time, high-quality market data feeds is non-negotiable. Often this means purchasing premium exchange data feeds and building infrastructure to handle massive volumes of incoming data. Backtesting HFT is tricky, traditionally, backtesting involves simulating trades on historical data. In HFT, your past trades themselves change the market conditions. More sophisticated, and computationally intense, order book simulation environments are often needed to realistically assess an HFT algorithm's potential. It's a never-ending race, HFT profits attract competition. A winning strategy has a limited shelf life before others adapt or the opportunity simply erodes. This necessitates continuous development, innovation, and a focus on model refinement to stay ahead of the pack. Chapter 21, AI-Driven Cryptocurrency Trading Cryptocurrency markets are a testament to both the allure and the perils of trading assets fueled by speculation, hype, and raw technological innovation. Traditional models often falter when faced with the extreme price swings, nascent market structure, and social media-driven sentiment that define the crypto landscape. This is where AI's ability to adapt and uncover hidden patterns can provide an edge. Let's first dissect the key ways crypto markets stand apart. Sky-high volatility, double-digit price swings in a day aren't uncommon in the crypto world. This volatility presents both the potential for massive gains and equally massive, and rapid, losses. Risk management becomes paramount for survival. Market immaturity, compared to traditional asset classes, crypto markets still lack robust infrastructure and regulation. This can lead to sudden liquidity crunches, exchange outages during periods of high volume, and the risk of manipulation by large players. The outsized role of sentiment, Bitcoin and its brethren are heavily influenced by social media trends, influencer pronouncements, and the overall fear and greed cycle of retail investors. Capturing and quantifying this sentiment is essential for crypto trading success. The 24-7 arena, unlike stock markets, crypto never sleeps. This necessitates trading strategies capable of operating around the clock, necessitating automated execution via AI models. Now, let's outline AI strategies designed to navigate these turbulent waters. Exploiting volatility with AI, crypto markets are often mean reverting within specific time frames. AI can identify these regimes and automatically scale position sizes or trade frequencies accordingly. Strategies might involve grid trading setups, setting multiple buy slash sell orders above and below the current price, or models trained to detect overbought slash oversold conditions tailored specifically to the wild swings of cryptocurrencies. Technical analysis adapted for crypto, while technical indicators are a staple across all markets, their interpretation might need a crypto-specific twist. Do classic momentum indicators work reliably with such volatile assets? AI can backtest vast combinations of indicators and time frames, potentially discovering patterns uniquely suited to crypto price dynamics. Harnessing the power of social sentiment, news headlines matter, but tweets, Reddit threads, and even Discord servers are often where the real action is for crypto sentiment. AI-powered NLP models can scour vast quantities of social data, extracting key themes, measuring the strength of bullish-slash-bearish sentiment, and even identifying potential influencers driving the narrative around a specific coin. On-chain data analysis, for blockchains like Bitcoin or Ethereum, a rich trove of data exists on the blockchain itself, the distribution of coins across wallets, network activity, transaction volume. AI models trained on this on-chain data might uncover patterns invisible to those looking solely at price charts. Do whale wallets accumulating a specific token signal an impending price surge? But crypto trading with AI demands extra caution. Hype vs. Fundamentals, is a coin's meteoric rise fueled by sound technological improvements, or simply social media buzz? AI models, 
if not carefully crafted, can fall prey to mistaking hype for enduring value. Wash trading and manipulation, exaggerating trading volume to lure in unsuspecting buyers is a real danger, especially with smaller, less liquid cryptocurrencies. AI systems need to include checks to detect these patterns and potentially avoid coins with suspicious activity. Event risk, a sudden regulatory crackdown, a major exchange getting hacked, or a key figure in the crypto world tweeting something controversial can send prices spiraling in ways technical analysis can't anticipate. Understanding these non-quantifiable event risks is vital for setting proper stop losses and managing your overall portfolio exposure. Overfitting to recent mania, an AI model crushing it during a crypto bull run might suffer greatly when the bubble inevitably bursts. Rigorous backtesting across diverse market conditions and seeking strategies with sound theoretical grounding, rather than merely curve-fitting past prices, can help mitigate this risk. Chapter 22, Democratizing AI Trading Building and operating successful AI trading systems has traditionally demanded a potent cocktail of skills, programming, advanced statistics, machine learning expertise, and a deep understanding of financial markets. This high barrier to entry has locked out many potential traders and investors. However, the landscape is rapidly shifting with the proliferation of user-friendly platforms and no-code AI tools. Let's dissect the forces powering this democratization. Pre-built AI trading platforms, services are emerging that offer varying degrees of AI integration directly into their trading environments. These platforms might provide Oalgo Marketplaces, a curated selection of pre-built trading strategies developed by the platform or by third-party users. These could range from simple trend-following models to more complex AI-powered setups. Transparency varies, some platforms reveal the underlying logic, while others function as black boxes. O-Signal Services, instead of full-blown strategies, some platforms offer AI-driven signals, buy, sell, hold recommendations, on various assets. These signals could be based on technical analysis, sentiment, or more sophisticated AI techniques, with users choosing which signals to follow or incorporate into their own trading. No-code AI development tools, visual, drag-and-drop interfaces are making the creation of AI models accessible to those without coding prowess. These tools often focus on specific domains. O technical strategy builders, design trading rules based on indicators and chart patterns without writing a single line of code. These builders empower those with market knowledge to experiment and turn their trading intuition into algorithmic form. O machine learning studios, cloud-based platforms like Google's AutoML democratize machine learning. Users upload their data, define the prediction problem, e.g. price direction, and the platform automates the process of selecting appropriate models, tuning parameters, and evaluating performance. The allure of these approaches is clear. Lowering barriers to entry, intricate coding or setting up complex trading infrastructure are no longer prerequisites. This opens up the field to day traders, enthusiasts with market insights but limited programming skills, and investors looking to diversify beyond traditional buy and hold strategies. Faster iteration, no-code tools and pre-built strategies allow for rapid prototyping and experimentation. Traders can quickly test a hypothesis, fine-tune a model, or explore entirely new approaches all within a streamlined environment. Leveraging the collective, all-go marketplaces benefit from network effects. A platform with passionate users developing, sharing, and backtesting strategies creates a collaborative ecosystem where beginners and experienced algorithmic traders alike can learn and benefit. However, navigating this evolving landscape requires a healthy dose of caution. The illusion of simplicity, while the tools are more accessible, understanding the strengths and limitations of the underlying AI models remains crucial. Is that pre-built strategy actually robust? or merely optimized to look good on a specific backtesting period. A sleek user interface cannot replace critical thinking. Vendor scrutiny, before subscribing to a third-party signal service or entrusting a platform with your hard-earned capital, due diligence is paramount. 
What is their track record? What's the transparency level surrounding their methodologies? Are there reputable reviews or audits of their performance figures? Data is still king, no code tools can ease the model building process, but clean, high quality data remains the lifeblood of any successful strategy. Understand what data these platforms use and whether any additional data procurement is needed for the types of strategies you wish to deploy. The need for edge, as AI trading becomes more accessible, competition increases. The generic pre-built strategy is unlikely to offer a long-term advantage. Success may depend on finding those niche markets where pre-packaged solutions are less common, or in creatively combining signals or strategies in ways the platforms haven't envisioned. Chapter 23, Ethical Considerations in AI Trading The pursuit of profit, amplified by powerful AI algorithms, can lead into murky ethical territory. As trading systems gain autonomy and sophistication, it's imperative we don't solely focus on the technical achievements, but also on the potential consequences they carry. Let's dissect key areas where ethical lines can become blurred. The specter of market manipulation, AI-powered trading strategies operating at superhuman speeds have the potential to disrupt markets in ways that disadvantage retail investors or harm fair price discovery. Consider these scenarios. O spoofing and layering, placing large orders with the intent to cancel them milliseconds later, designed to trick other algorithms, or humans, into believing there's strong buying or selling pressure, leading to a price movement the manipulator can profit from. O pump and dump on steroids, AI coordinated social media campaigns can pump a small, illiquid stock, driving up the price followed by the perpetrators dumping their positions, leaving unsuspecting latecomers holding the bag. Unintentional harm from predatory algorithms, even without malicious intent, AI models optimized solely for profit maximization could discover and exploit strategies that harm the broader market ecosystem. Imagine an AI model designed to detect and front-run large institutional orders. While technically legal, this systematically disadvantages other investors and could erode overall market liquidity. Bias Amplification AI models are only as unbiased as the data they're trained on. Let's examine some ways bias can creep in. Oh, historical bias If a model is trained on data that reflects past market discrimination or socioeconomic inequality, example stocks of minority owned businesses being systematically undervalued the model risks perpetuating and amplifying these biases. O oh, social sentiments dark reflection, AI sentiment analysis of social media is powerful, but raw social data contains the full gamut of human biases, both conscious and unconscious. A model might pick up on those biases, leading to decisions that discriminate against certain companies or market sectors based solely on public sentiment that may be rooted in prejudice. The black box dilemma, Complex AI models, especially those built on deep neural networks, can produce spectacular results but often lack clear explainability. A black box model that drives millions in trades raises questions. O oh, trust and accountability, if the model malfunctions or makes ethically questionable trades, pinpointing who or what is responsible, the trader, the model creator, the data itself, becomes difficult. O oh, the why behind the trade, Explainability is key to self-auditing an AI system and detecting any subtle biases that emerge in its decision-making. Without understanding the reason for a trade, it's difficult to ensure it aligns with ethical principles. Addressing these ethical challenges requires a multi-pronged approach. Regulatory adaptation, existing regulations lag behind the pace of AI development. Regulatory bodies must engage with industry experts to craft new frameworks addressing AI-specific manipulation risks, potential obligations for algorithmic fairness, and transparency requirements for AI models used in high-stakes financial decisions. Algorithmic audits, inspired by cybersecurity practices, independent third-party audits of AI trading systems could become the norm. These audits would scrutinize models for potential discriminatory behavior, hidden biases in their training data, and evaluate the system's explainability and fail-safes. Data cleansing and bias mitigation, 
proactive efforts are needed to mitigate the influence of biases within training data sets. This includes identifying sensitive features, example indicators that might unintentionally correlate with race or gender, techniques for debiasing data, and data set diversification to reduce the risk of a model fixating on spurious correlations. AI Explainability XAI, as a research frontier, developing techniques for making opaque AI models more interpretable is essential. This involves methods to uncover the key drivers behind an AI system's decision, potentially visualized as decision trees a human can comprehend. Embedding ethics into development, ethical considerations shouldn't be an afterthought. Building ethical AI trading systems means involving ethicists and domain experts during the design process. Proactive what-if scenario analysis helps expose potential negative consequences before a model is unleashed into live markets. Chapter 24, The Regulatory Landscape Financial markets are, by necessity, heavily regulated. As AI disrupts traditional trading, regulatory bodies globally are grappling with how to adapt existing rules and potentially craft entirely new ones to address the unique challenges AI-powered systems pose. Currently, the regulatory landscape resembles a patchwork. Broad AI principles, many nations and financial bodies have released high-level guidelines on the ethical use of AI. These focus on themes like fairness, transparency, and accountability. However, they often lack the teeth of enforceable regulations with specific compliance standards for financial use cases. Adaptations of existing rules, regulators are often forced to interpret existing regulations in the context of novel AI techniques. Does an algorithm generating trading signals qualify as investment advice, triggering additional licensing or disclosure requirements? Debate on these interpretations is ongoing. Focus on systemic risk, much regulatory attention centers on whether AI-driven trading could destabilize markets on a large scale. Flash crashes, where algorithms interact in unpredictable ways, are a prime concern. Potential measures like market-wide circuit breakers specifically designed to pause trading during periods of AI-induced volatility are under discussion. The lagging law, regulation moves much slower than technological progress. New AI strategies often fall into gray areas, their legality untested until a high-profile incident forces a response. This uncertainty can stifle innovation, especially for smaller, less well-funded players in the AI trading arena. Let's outline best practices for responsible AI development to both stay ahead of the regulatory curve and to mitigate ethical risks. Document everything, meticulous documentation of your AI system's design, training data, decision-making logic, and ongoing monitoring practices is paramount. In the case of an audit or if the system's actions are challenged, this documentation becomes your lifeline. Model governance, establish clear procedures outlining the approval process for new AI models, regular reviews of existing models to detect performance decay or the emergence of unintended behaviors, and a robust kill switch protocol to immediately disable a malfunctioning system. Incorporate stress testing, don't just test your AI system under ideal market scenarios. Subjected to extreme market conditions, simulated liquidity shocks, and adversarial scenarios designed to game your algorithms. This proactive approach builds resilience into your systems and may expose risks regulators are likely to be scrutinizing. Transparency to the extent possible, while complete disclosure of the inner workings of your models might be unrealistic, especially if they hold your proprietary edge, strive for providing transparency around how the model is used, the types of input data it relies on, and any known limitations. Let's explore some specific regulatory directions the future might hold. Algorithmic auditing, could mandated audits by independent bodies become the norm, especially for firms using AI in high-frequency or high-stakes trading. These audits potentially go beyond code correctness, scrutinizing models for biases, unintended gaming potential, and overall compliance with ethical AI principles. AI-specific licenses, just as financial advisors need licenses demonstrating competence, 
the industry may move towards specific AI certifications proving competency in topics like bias mitigation, adversarial testing, and explainable AI techniques. Data lineage and provenance, regulations demanding the ability to trace the origin of every data point fed into an AI system and how that data was processed could emerge. This is designed to combat AI models built with tainted or potentially privacy-violating data sets. Sandboxes for safe innovation, regulators in some jurisdictions are establishing regulatory sandboxes where AI trading firms can test innovative strategies under close oversight. This fosters collaboration between technologists and regulators, aiming to strike a balance between encouraging innovation and safeguarding the market's integrity. Navigating the regulatory landscape will be an ongoing challenge. Here are strategies for staying informed. Be proactive, not reactive, don't wait for scandals to force regulatory changes. Follow research and consultations conducted by financial regulatory bodies. Many publish white papers outlining their concerns and areas they're likely to target with future regulations. Industry collaboration, participating in industry associations and working groups focused on responsible AI in finance allows for sharing best practices and having influence in shaping the regulations to come. A fluid field, except that the regulatory landscape will remain in flux for many years to come. Build agility into your AI development processes, making compliance checkpoints and adaptability a core part of your workflow, not an afterthought tacked on at the end.